Hello everyone, this is Dr. Eugene Sanders, Chief Executive Officer and Superintendent for Sandusky City Schools. And I'm here for our Building Better Dreams Facilities Update for June 2019. Joined here by members of my senior team, to my left is our Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Cade, and to my right is our Chief of Staff and Transformation Officer, Dr. Sturgill. So we'll be updating you this month on things going on related to the building program. We'll start first with Dr. Sturgill. Uh, obviously, as people are driving by the construction sites, they're seeing a lot of uh, bricks and buildings going up. Talk to us a little bit about some of the things behind the scene that's going on organizationally for teachers and principals to get ready for 2020. Yes, well, twice a month, uh, we meet as a facilities team to go over the actual building of, of, the, uh, of the schools. And also twice a month, we meet as an operations team where we meet and are planning the, um, the actual, what the movement will look like. What would food service look like? What would the busing look like? Uh, what would technology look like? Also, we are working with the principals and teachers on reconfiguration, uh, having uh, meetings with them to get their insight about how we can effectively move during the transition in 2020. Well, as we've been telling folks, this is going to be the most significant transition in the history of our district, moving our entire pre-K through six student body along with our faculty, administrators, and support staff, and our, our parents as well will also be having a transition. Uh, our most important work, of course, is student achievement and our academic work. Uh, Dr. K, talk a little bit about a quick recap of our academic work this year uh, and a little bit about how you see our academic programs going in the new buildings. Yes, thank you, Dr. Sanders. Uh, we will continue our work around our collective efficacy project, which is affectionately known as the Academic 5K. Uh, we will continue that with Sandusky Academic Transformation Strategies, Collective Efficacy Project, continuing to advance our work around um, significantly improving student achievement, using data, driven decision making, focusing on our students' goals and aspirations. Uh, as we move forward with our work uh, in the schools, we'll continue that work because we've made some progress. So we'll go deeper into looking specifically at student work the tasks that teachers are assigning to students, and we'll have some pivotal conversations around that in the uh, year coming up. And obviously, when we go to the new buildings, we want to be prepared and ready uh, as we are now, but uh, as we move everybody to make sure that academics remains our, our top priority. Another key element of that work, uh, Dr. Kate, deals with professional development and how teachers, administrators, support staff will be trained and prepared for the new building. So talk a little bit about our, our vision around what that looks like. Yeah, we started this year uh, with framing the learning in our professional development days. And we started, we've already started to put our teachers in great configured um, professional development teams in preparation for how our schools will be organized. So we're focusing a lot on horizontal uh, teaming and vertical teaming to give our teachers the leg up on embedding our academic rituals and routines into their work prior to moving into those buildings. And so we're really excited about that and how we're weaving in our STEAM initiative around uh, project-based learning. And we'll continue to advance those things on professional development days by being very intentional about putting our teachers in grade configured bands to work with their principals uh, that they will have in the upcoming year for 2020. Well, as you can see, we're uh getting prepared, ready now, in anticipation of the most significant uh, historic move in the history of our district. Um, you should feel confident in our community that we're on top of it and ready to go. Uh, some of you are probably thinking about how can I stay updated and uh, familiar with what's going on with the facilities program. Uh, Dr. Sturgeon, talk to us a little bit about how folks can keep up with um, the building projects through a new camera system that we're installing. Yes, uh, through our website, and through our phone app, uh, our residents can see uh, the buildings being built from start to finish in real time, uh, which is important. So if you go to our website or download our phone app, uh, you can see from start to finish uh, the real time um, start to finish of both buildings being built. It's exciting. So for those of you who uh, can't get on the, the obviously get on the construction site, uh, you'll be able to go to our website and monitor the building program from now until August of 2020. We couldn't be more excited uh, about where we're headed. Uh, each month, we bring you the Building Better Dreams Facilities Update. 
Uh, we're excited about where we're at. We appreciate so much the support of our district and the community. And we invite you to give us a call here at the district if there are any questions. And as always, we say, go Blue Streaks.